Welcome to Vindal's concept. We are still continuing on our series of shunt and multiplier and which is part of electricity. If you have not seen my video on circuit analysis, you can still go back for circuit analysis. But let's look at this. We said that an ammeter of resistance 0 0.1 ohm has a full scale deflection of 50 milliampere. All right. Um, then it simply means that this question is talking about shunt. Because look at the shunt. He said, determine the full scale deflection of the meter when a shunt of is a shunt. So what is a shunt? A shunt is is a resistor. A shunt is a resistor connected in parallel. Connected in parallel to a galvanometer that will help the galvanometer to increase to measure a bigger current. So if a current is coming in to this junction, junction A, the current going through this place is called current of the galvanometer. But the current coming through this part is going to be the current of this one minus the current of this will be current flowing through this center. So I'm going to have I minus IG. Then this is the resistance of the shunt. And then there is a resistance of the galvanometer. So knowing this, we say that the voltage across the galvanometer must be equal to the voltage across the shunt. So current of the shunt and resistance of the gal sorry. So current of the galvanometer times the resistance of the galvanometer must be equal to current of the shunt, which is this, multiplied by resistance of the shunt. So from this, you can now talk about anything. This is how I derive my own. So and um, an ammeter of resistance. An ammeter of resistance 0 0.1 ohms. An ammeter of resistance 0 0.1 ohms. So the the that means that is RG is going to be 0 0.1 ohms, right? And has a full scale deflection of 50 milliampere. So that means the current of the galvanometer is going to be 50 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 ampere. Remember, milli means 10 raised to the power minus 3. And therefore, the current of the galvanometer is going to be 5 times 10 raised to the power 1 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 ampere. So this is the same thing as saying 5 times 10 raised to the power minus 2 ampere, which is something as 50 over 100, which is 0 0.05. So this is the current of the galvanometer. That is the current flowing through the galvanometer. And this is 0 0.1 ohm is the, is the resistance flowing through the, the galvanometer. Now, determine the resultant full scale deflection of the ammeter when a shunt. So the resistance of the shunt is 0 0.011 ohm. Yes, of course, it's very small. That must be the resistance of the shunt because it's a low resistance wire that must be connected in parallel with the galvanometer in order to help it measure a higher current. So I'm looking for the current. I'm looking for the current of the shunt. I'm looking for the current of the shunt, which is unknown. So I'm going to apply everything here. And remember the current of the shunt is equal to IG, RG, all over resistance of the shunt. So current of the shunt is equal to, why did I say everything here is current of the shunt? So I just made this the subject formula, which is IG times RG divided by RS. So IG is 0 0.05 times RG is 0 0.1 all over. Resistance of the, of the shunt is 0 0.011. So current of the shunt is going to be equal to So I have 0 0.45 ampere. Say 450 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Let's say this is 4.5 times 10 raised to the power minus. So 4.5 times 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. So this is 4.5 times 10 raised to the power minus 2. And this is something as saying um, uh, 0 0.45. Therefore, this current of the shunt is something as saying 
450 milli ampere. <laughs> Welcome. Let's continue. Um, sorry for the change of person, but let's continue. Remember the, 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 the current of the shunt. This is the current of the shunt, which I got as 450 milliampere. But that's not what we... Then we know that the current of the galvanometer... We know that current of the galvanometer is 50 milliampere. Now, we want to find the current that will give you a full-scale deflection. And that is just the total current coming into the system. So it's going to be I, it's going to be called current of the shunt plus current of the galvanometer. And that is going to be 50 milliampere plus 450 milliampere. And current is going to be equal to 500 milliampere. And that is what you have as the option. option. But please, Always remember to subscribe, share, and like, and also give a comment wherever you need, because more content will be coming. Thank you.